Okay, so for this question, uh, the question said, 45 people in Malaysia has at least one credit card. Uh, so the situation here, they say 45% have at least one credit card. So when we transform it to the wording of mathematics, it will be probability have at least one credit card is 45% change to probability 0 0.45. So this question they say you have random sample so means n is stand for your sample 50 so find the probability 20 of them having so the situation same same back at least one credit card using two methods one is using binomial what is using normal approximation so we have two methods to do it here so first of all we define our distribution first what is our x X is the object here is number of person having at least one credit card. So here X distributed binomial we have sample 50 and then 0 0.45. So for the first question they ask to find the probability 20 of them means X equals to 20. So first question answer using binomial although we can see here our N is 50 is quite large. Then our mean also more than 5. But the question to use binomial distribution, then we follow the instruction. So if we solve by binomial, for this equation, we will use formula, which is 50 NCR, 50 C20, P is 0 0.45 power 20, then R is 0 0.55 power 50 minus 20, we get 30. So, so this one we just press calculator. Okay, so for the second question, they ask you to do approximation. As we can see, actually, the first situation, n is already greater 50. This is the first condition. Second condition, we find mean, n, p. We calculate 50 times 0 0.45. It is equals to 22.5. It's already more than 5. So second situation also fulfilled. Third situation, the probability is between 0 0.1 and 0 0.9. So here we have our mean already. So what we need to do is finding our variance. Variance is MP cube. So MP 22.5 cube 0 0.55. So this variance gives us 12.375. So our question B, our X is distributed normal for mean 22.5 variance. 12.375. So our question here is talking about probability x is equal to 20. So as we know, this original question is come from binomial. So change it to normal distribution means that our question need to do CC. So for binomial, we need to change to normal with CC, then we change to standard, then we draw and we find from the table to get answer. So this is our flow. So therefore, for x equals to 20, we do cc. From this script, we change to continuous. We do the boundary. So if x equals to 20, so its boundary will be 19.5, 20.5. Then after we get normal, we can change to z, mean, or x minus mean over standard deviation. So the x becomes z. So simplify this z value in two decimal only. Then we draw this normal graph where negative z score at left hand side here, negative 0 0.57 in between. So how to find this area from table? As we know, table hanya ambil bahagian ekor. So daripada sini, sebenarnya begitu boleh nampak kita ambil ekor besar sini, tolak keluarkan bahagian hujung-hujung sini. Dapatlah kawasan yang kita nak. Jadi, daripada table, kita ambil ekor 0.57. Tolak ekor 0.85. Okay, so kita baca daripada table. 0.57. Dapat 2843. Dan lagi 1, 85. 1977. So, from our table, we get 0 0.2843 minus 0.1977.